Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me! Again? Ah, I just had to crash in the middle of the ocean. It's okay. It's okay. It could be worse. At least I have two square yards of wood! Son of a... Uh, I couldn't have grabbed anything off my ship? Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. You survived worse. Upsides. Look at the upsides. It's a nice sunny day. I've got this hook thingy, and there seems to be a constant stream of junk for me to grab. Thank God for pollution. I have never been so happy that humanity is just the worst. First things first, try to increase the size of the raft, and then start figuring out the food and water situation. Ugh, I better not have to eat fish. I've had enough fish for a lifetime. This isn't so bad. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be... Oh, son of a bitch! Is that a damn shark? They're like the doom gods of the water, I'm screwed! Out of all the miles of the ocean, that damn thing had to find the one lone guy stuck on a raft? Uh, well, maybe he doesn't have a taste for human. I am not that lucky. Survivor's log, let's call this the nightmare continues, day one. My ship crashed in what appears to be the middle of the ocean. I have no idea where I am or if I'm even headed in remotely the right direction to find land. I'm hoping that I come across a ship or something like that so I'm not out here for too long because holy crap it's warm. And I don't have my sunblock. Forget hunger and dehydration. I'm gonna be tanned to death. Upside, I'll leave a beautiful golden leathery corpse. I also have a new friend. Basically a swimming tornado of teeth. Luckily, I've been able to gather up materials floating in the ocean to build up a small raft in hopes I can survive. <sighs> I don't know who I'm actually saying this to, I guess I'm just doing it out of habit. <sighs> Bet my brother's doing way better up there, working for Kindred Aerospace. Should've worked for them. I know I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, but where's all this crap coming from? There's gotta be land around here some... Holy crap, is that land?! <laughs> what freaking luck is that?! Ah, damn it! What do I do? What do I do? Um, stop! Bad fish! No biting! No biting! Over the love. There, I rebuilt it! In your stupid shark face! Hmm, hopefully I can do that with limbs if he gets off a lucky bite. I'm gonna have to swim for it. All right, shark, I've got a spear! You better not mess with me! Okay, just get into the water. You can do this. You've done this a lot. You basically lived in the water. It's no different. Just do it, just do it. Go, 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 go! <laughs> nope! Oh! Ow! There goes a toe! Oh, salt water, it stings! It stings! Ah! Ah! I really need that plastic. Damn. Alright, do it. Here we go. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Well, I jumped the shark, and it immediately bit me in the ass. <sighs> Nothing on this stupid island. I'm moving on. There's got to be other islands, hopefully with people on them. And hopefully not the cannibal type, though if you can't beat them. <laughs> Survivor's Log, the nightmare continues, day seven. I made a water purifier so I won't have to drink my own urine. Turns out making stuff isn't that hard. Sure, I don't have a computer and a 3D printer to make it easy on me, but that's all right. This is just as good. Some sticks and rocks and plastic and leaves. Put those all together and I can make anything. It may look like crap, but function over form. That's what I've never said until right at this very moment. Also, I've been getting really good at throwing this hook thing. I can hit a barrel from like 20 feet, which is a pretty big feat if you aren't used to throwing hooks. When I find land, I'm gonna join the Hook Olympics with my one beefy throwing arm, if that's a thing. If not, I'll just become Batman or something. Mmm, cooked beets. Ugh. You know, fish and urine's not sounding too bad right now. Wow, it really is beautiful out here at night, you know? Don't you think so, shark? Yeah, I know you're out there, I can smell ya! Smells like warm fish, dead seal, and my left pinky toe! You jackass! Stupid fish. I need to give you a name. What the hell, is that another raft? I gotta get over there, come on. Come on, come on, stupid wind, move it! Wish I could use one of these planks to row myself, but splinters, I don't need that. Ugh. Man, doesn't look like anyone's home. A little closer. A little closer. Nope, missed. Thanks for not biting me. Looks like this is it. Well, that was easy enough. Now I'll just attach that raft to my- or not. What the hell? Shoddy worksmanship is what that is. 
<laughs> I don't want to eat fish again. <laughs> Better than beets. What the? Oh, damn it, Benjamin Jr., let go! Let it go! Stop it! Ugh, the stupid cartilage tube. If you want wooden plastic in your diet, there's plenty of it around here just floating around. Stop eating my raft! Oh, come on, there's nothing on this island! Except for this pineapple. Yay, something that doesn't taste like fish! Survivor's log, the nightmare continues, day f**k it! Turns out it storms in the ocean, I feel like I should have known that! Oh, y'all, it's getting wavy. Oh, boy. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh god. Oh, it's coming. Signing off. Come on, bite the line. Bite it. Oh, come on, Benny Jr. A fish your size would feed me for weeks. Just take one bite, and then we can finally go mono's a mono to see who wins. I've always wanted to punch a shark in the face, snout. Mm, probably shouldn't have eaten the bones. Nope, water didn't help. Wonder if I can use this to distill some liquor. That might help. Or at the very least, I could drink until we forget. Ugh. 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 Ho, ho, ho. We just powdered that tree. You got this? You got this? Oh, <laughs> jeez. Woo. <laughs> this should be fun. Whee! <gasps> you know, I'm getting used to this. This ain't so bad. Survivor's Log, the nightmare continues. Day 22, I think. We've equipped the raft with these nets, and now I barely have to do anything. Just float along and wait for the crap in the ocean to come to us. We're still not really sure where it's coming from. I'm just going to assume the ocean is way more polluted than I thought. Once again, thank you, humanity, for sucking. Your terribleness has saved my ass. Damn it, Benny, I said stop! Benny? I killed Benny. <laughs> we killed Benny! Well, better not let him go to waste. Wonder if I can get my pinky toe back. <laughs> He's so delicious. Mmm, mmm. Well, guess we don't have to worry about getting bit anymore. <gasps> another one? You've got to be f***ing kidding me! How the hell did another freaking shark find us out here? What, do I smell that bad or something? Oh. Yeah, that's looking good. We're going to get a nice second story on this baby, maybe make a bedroom with a master bath, get some other bedrooms going in case we find some other non-human eating survivors. And in a few years, we can sell it. It costs no money. This thing's going to be all profit. Remember to invest in real estate. I sure will. Damn straight you will. Ow. 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 Ah. Ah, I got a splinter. Ow, it's going to get infected and we're going to have to amputate. Oh, no, you're not. Tough it out, you pansy. Power through. <sighs> get it together, man. Get it together. Jeez, we're just finding islands left and right around here. What the heck? Can we buy a continent already? What the... help? <gasps> there might be a person here! We're not ready. We don't have any bedrooms for them. <laughs> I smell bad. I don't have any food. Benny Jr. too, find us some food. Don't panic, person, we're coming! Hello? Anyone? Hello? Damn, it doesn't seem like they're here. Looks like their boat had some issues. I wonder if they had any supplies left in there. Ooh, radio, that'll be useful. Some plastic, what else? The captain's hat. Yar, that'd be perfect for me. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. Damn it, get it together, Arthur. Not again. Not again. Survivor's log, the nightmare continues, day 35. I think the voices are back. Yar! Oh, jeez, I did it. I can't believe I did it! <laughs> I'm off this stupid freaking planet! <laughs> Oh, I made it to the stars. Uh oh, that's not good. Ah! Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? That one's not on IKEA. That one's on me. Woo! It didn't hit me in the face this time. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going home. Finally, no more fish. Ah, screw you, stupid planet! I hope I never see water again. It's dry land for me all the way for the rest of my life. Now take me to Earth. The faster, the better. Destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Yes, get me out of here. Engaging ion boosters. I hope that broken panel doesn't come back two, to haunt me. One. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what the? Ah, oh, crap! That panel was apparently more vital than I thought. Oh no! 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 no!
Welcome to Earth. Oh, shut up. Well, glad to have you all back. Though it means I'm insane, doesn't it? Eh, just lonely. Probably a little insane. The first step is admitting you have a problem. I don't have a problem. You have a problem! I don't have a problem, says the fake pirate. How dare ye. I dare ye. Kinda starting to wish I died in that crash. <sighs> starting to think we aren't gonna find anyone else on any of these islands. If we did, they'd just eat us. I don't like that idea at all. Not if I don't eat them first. Whoa, no, 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 we are not cannibals. Speak for yourself. I am speaking for myself. No eating people. You're no fun. Good. Ooh, yay, another island. Let's head over there. Nyar, I'm in charge of this vessel. We go where I say. Who put you in charge? I'm the captain. No, you aren't. We've been over this. I should be in charge. First things first, kill the shark. But that's dangerous. We could lose another toe. <sighs> Nyar, I'm in charge here. And I say, kill the shark. That was my idea. Doesn't matter. Yes, but at least we agree on something. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? An old shoe. Can I wear it? Please don't. Well, I'm keeping it. Shoe, you stay here. I'm gonna call you Nike. And you broke my fishing rod. Damn it, Nike! Why are we cooking sand? It makes glass? Oh, good. I was afraid we were getting desperate. I love cooked sand. It tastes delicious. That explains those glass shards I found in my mouth. I've made a bigger grill. Finally, all my dad jokes will start to make sense. No, they won't. They might. We don't have any kids. Only because of all that space radiation and lack of opportunity. Mostly the latter. Shut up. I was stuck on a water planet with no one else for months. What opportunity was there exactly? The Sea Empress seemed pretty taken with us. Ew. I thought about it. We know. And now we've got an anchor. Yar, this vessel is really starting to come together. Why, thank you. Now we need is a trusty crew so we can be the scourge of the seas. What, so now we're not trusty? I take offense to that. Where are we going to scourge exactly? Uh... What are we doing? Building a battery? But why? Nothing here is battery powered. We're gonna build a radio and try to contact someone. And lead the cannibals right to us. Are you insane? Yeah, kinda. But how exactly would I lead them to us? With what coordinates? I could use the stars to tell me coordinates. I'm gonna say it again. Not a real captain. Nyar. No reason to be so mean. And there we go. Sweet, it has a TV. Can we watch the Golden Girls on this? What? No. The Golden Girls. Those girls are a treasure. Not arguing, just wasn't aware I was a fan of that show. Well, you are. Okay. We're up and running. Huh. What are those? I'm not sure, but there's one right next to us. Chill out, they're just dots. Dots of death. Aye, let's set sail, me mateys. Set sail for what? It could be a trap. That is a risk I am willing to take at this point. Shut up. Ah, Nike! Back away from the shoe, you big brute. It's okay, Nike. I never let anything happen to you. Well, we found what that beacon was. This is one big island. Is that a llama? Is it gonna eat us? Wow. Man, this place has it all. Land, llamas. Is that what you think has it all is? It's more than we have. Touche. Why are we going into the cave? You don't know what's in here. It's fine, chill out. Holy crap, I think someone lives here. Or at least lived here. What'd they leave lying around? I don't know, let me look. But what if they come back? Shut up. Eh, just a bunch of junk. I think we need to wait until morning to really go exploring the rest of the island. There's no telling what we'll find here at night. I agree. Of course you would. Come back. Come back. I just want to eat you. Uh, uh, not worth it. Holy crap. Is that a boar? Let's get him. Yar! I don't know. Oh, stop being such a pansy. Get in there. But I don't want to. Do it. No. Do it. No. Hi there, Mr. Boar. Are you friendly? Nope! <laughs> How do you like that? Ow! Whoa, jeez. Ah! Bad boar! Bad boar! Tusk, don't go in that hole! Ha <laughs> Told you we could do it. Yeah, 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 you can gloat later. Nope, I'm gloating now. <laughs> we did it. We did it in your face. <laughs> what the hell? Where'd my treasure go? Huh? 
Who said that? Becky, what did you do? Um, hello? Is there someone in here? Damn, Becky, your voice changed. Oh, hello. Ah! Ah! Who are you? What are you? Uh, a, a, a human? Lies. You're just a shark wearing human suit. Go away, skin shark. What? That doesn't make sense. How would we breathe? Easy. Land gills. You mean lungs? Land gills! Okay, crazy person. Let's start over. Hi, we're Arthur. We sailed here on a raft that we built after crashing into the ocean. Please don't stab us. No promises. I'm Trillian. Did you steal my treasure? You, you mean the junk? Treasure! It's kind of junk. Not now, Becky! Uh, yeah. But in our defense, we didn't think anyone was around. Well, give it back! What? Do you even know what was in those crates? Seven planks, two ropes, a piece of scrap, four hinges, some metal ore, a piece of glass, and a recipe for drumsticks, jam, and fruit compote. Huh. Wow, that's kind of impressive. How about we do something better? Why don't you come with us on our raft? We've got a lot of treasure there, and if you help me find other people, you can have as much treasure as you want. No! Well, I'd like to. Shut up, Becky! I don't care how cute you think he is! I like Becky. Can I talk to her? No. Holy crap, she's insane. Do you think it's such a good idea to invite this woman on our raft? We don't know anything about her. Yar, I agree. Plus, it's my ship. I should get a say in me crew. What harm could it do? She could eat us. I doubt it. We could use the extra person. No, we're doing it. We're doing Holy it. No, crap, no, he's insane. Doing it. You're doing it. We're doing it. That is the final word. Fine. Trillion. Oh, are you talking to me now, Mr. Crazy Cuckoo Pants? Y yeah. Please come with us. We could really use another person, and clearly you know how to survive out here. How long have you been out here anyway? I'm immortal. Time matters not to me. Two years. Damn it, Becky! Uh-huh. Well, please? Come on, wouldn't you like to get off this island? Fine, but don't go falling in love with me. I don't have time for romantic entanglements. But... Becky! Uh, deal. Come on! A raft is right over here. There she is. You sailed here? On that? Yeah, it's pretty nice once you, uh... Hey, where are you going? Nope, I'm not getting on that death trap. You can't make me. <sighs> Damn it. I like her. Shut up. So, this is our raft. My raft. Don't, don't listen to him. Feel free to help yourself to any food or... What's up with the shoe? His name is Nike. You named a shoe... Well, yeah, but it makes sense because... Oh, damn it! Get off! <sighs> ha! Stupid Bruce. That'll teach you. Bruce? Yeah, that's his name. We've been calling him Benjamin Jr. Why would you do that? His name is Bruce. It's rude to call him by another name. Long story. Also, we don't really care about the feelings of sharks, especially ones that ate our pinky toe. Did you hear that, Becky? We just joined a sociopath who doesn't care for the feelings of others. It's a shark! Sociopath. Psychopath. Where did that girl go? What the? Ha ah! ha! Ah! Ah! <laughs> gotcha! Damn it, Trillion! <laughs> Pretty sure he peed himself, Becky. <sighs> Make her walk the plank! Agreed. Come on, guys, it's been one day. The plank, I say! Hey, Trillion. Yes, Skin Shark? You ever been to the top of this island? Never! I stored some treasure up there. Becky! You traitor! Could you take us up there? That stuff might be useful. Fine, but all that stuff up there is mine. Okay, that's fine. Hey, is that your llama? His name is Bill. He's a jerk. You ever had an argument with a llama? Doesn't matter if you win or lose, he'll spit in your face. Ew. Also, how many times did you lose an argument to a llama? He's an excellent debater. Uh-huh. Huh, where's Butch? Who's Butch? My boar. He's usually right around here. Oh. What? You have a boar? That's crazy! We haven't seen him at all, right, guys? Nope. Nyar. Well, shut up. But you say, sounds like a great guy. Hope we get to meet him. Not, not, not meat as in, oh man, this boar meat is delicious. More like a, hi, nice to meet you, Butch. Let's go get some ice cream together. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's crazy, Butch. Sounds like a hoot. You're an odd feller. Hey, be careful up there. The birds are a bit aggressive. Whoa, did that thing just shit out a rock? Maybe? I don't know bird anatomy. Ah, that's not the worst thing you could do. It's gonna give us bird flu or peck out our eyes. Can you shut that guy up? He's a downer. You're telling me. Oh, hey, these radio dishes. That's how we found you. Did you set these up? Radio dishes? I thought they were just weird looking balls. I was using them to catch rain. That's another use, we suppose. All right, pretty sure we're done here. Let's head out. I don't want to. This is gonna end well.
break her legs and drag her with us. No more talking for you. The plank, I say! No more talking for you either. Nyar. So, uh, you enjoying it out here? It's fine. Just fishing to distract myself from the fact I'm gonna be seasick. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Yar, especially when you get your sea legs. You, uh, eat a lot of fish? Pretty much only fish. I hate it. Woo, I'm relieved. Relieved? Oh, it's nothing. We had this crazy thought that any humans we came across would be cannibals, but you eat fish, so we're good. <laughs> you don't eat people, right? Ew, no, not anymore. What? Who wants fish? Can you go back to what you just said? Sorry, skin shark, I live in the now, not in the past. But I feel like there was something important there. Becky says otherwise. I do. Helping or hurting, Becky? Survivor's Log, Day 50. I picked up a woman named Trillian on a large island we found. She appears to have lived there for several years and is quite bonkers. What are you doing? It's a thing we do. <laughs> you call me bonkers. We are. Becky! We're heading toward whatever this blue dot is on our radar, but we're still a few days off. Why exactly are we going to the blue dot? Because it's different from all the other dots. Plus, I'm the captain, and what I say goes. Ignore him, he's not a real captain. Then why do I have me a captain's hat? He has a point. Don't encourage him. Oh, damn it, Benny! Bruce! <sighs> Whatever. Why do you call him Benny? Well, um, we used to work for a company named Altera. They were a space company working on colonizing other planets, and we were one of the crew on a ship named the Aurora. On our flight, we ended up crashing onto an alien planet that was almost completely covered in water. And we were the only survivor. The planet was full of giant monsters, way bigger than Bruce here. One of them we named Benjamin. Nice guy, bad temper. So we named this shark after him. Uh huh. Anyway, we got infected with some kind of virus while on the planet, and an ancient alien species that used to inhabit the planet placed a gun there to stop anyone who was infected with the virus from leaving. So we had to help a giant sea bug thing hatch her babies who could cure the virus, so we could shut down the gun and then build a spaceship so we could fly back to Earth. Unfortunately, through no fault of our own or our shoddy worksmanship, we ended up crashing here in the middle of the ocean and just managed to salvage enough from the ship to start a raft. Uh huh. And you said I'm nuts. But that's all true. Whatever you say, space boy. All right, we're not that far off now. Trillian, let's make this a fast stop, please. I'm searching for treasure! There's no treasure here. Becky, zip your lip! Hey, Trillian! Hey! What? Can you see us? Yes, I can see you! What do you want? Check this out! Whee! Oh, oh, oh. Hey! We nearly broke our leg because we jumped off wrong, but uh, did you see? Did ya? Trillian! Huh? Oh yeah, sure, I was totally watching. Great job, man. I don't think she was watching. You think? What's this? Oh, we made us some beds. What do you think? Personal space, shark boy. I already told you, no falling in love with me. Not, it was a space concern. I am not in love with you. You might be. Shut up. Oh, damn it, stupid overgrowth guppy! Whoa. I think we found it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that an oil rig? Looks like it. Do you think that's safe? You mean as safe as sailing an ocean filled with deadly sharks on a raft literally built out of trash and driftwood? Well, when you put it that way... I certainly did, silly space boy skin shark. <sighs> Alliteration is fun! You sure this is a good idea? What if there's cannibals on there? More like what if there's cannibals on here. What? Oh, settle down, it's fine. Besides, if there's any danger up there, I'll stab him. What he said? All right, you stay on the raft and we'll go explore this thing. We don't want to put you in harm's way. You don't control me, I'm staying here. That's what we said. Just ignore her, she's kind of a control freak. Becky! Okay. Oh, hello? Mike? You here? My name's Trillian! We weren't talking to you. Rude. Got a shark named him Bruce. Holy crap, his name really is Bruce! How did you know that, Trillian? I told you! It's his name! But, but, eh, whatever. He does look like a Bruce. And what do Bruce's look like? Strong chin, sharp teeth, fins on their head. Okay then, apparently I'm just the weird one. I agree! Oh, shut up, you loony! Took boat, won't be back. Looks like they're not here, Trills! Ha ha ha, they left a note, actually. Good sleuthing, Sherlock! We hitched our wagon to the wrong horse, Becky. I don't know. 
I think he's kind of... I wasn't asking for your opinion, Becky! We can hear you! No, you can't! Do you know how sound works? No, you can't! Hey, Trails! We're gonna try and get to the top of this thing! But, uh, we've gotta make a long jump! If we fall, we're gonna break something! Shut up. Wish us luck! Break a leg! How morbidly appropriate, thanks! I thought so! <clears throat> We made it! Uh, Looks like we've got another one! Actually break a leg this time! Ooh, if we did, we could get me a peg leg. No. Yar, you're no fun. Can we get down? I'm scared of heights! Oh, grow up. Grow up? That would only make it worse! I didn't mean literally- whatever. Hey, Trills! What? Can you see us up here? Yeah! You should jump! Uh, if we do, we die! I'm aware! I mean- Nice recovery! I thought so! Holy crap! Trills, there may be a floating city out there! I don't need no other people! I've got Becky! I could use some other people. At two, Becky! At two! They left us some coordinates! Let's see if we can't find this place! Fine! At least maybe then we can get off this death trap! Yar, what did me boat ever do to you? Oh, it knows what it did! Okay. I'm, uh, gonna try to use the radio. I'm watching you, Raft. Come in. Come in. Anyone. This is Arthur Dent. And Art. And Artie. And Ar. How many people do you have in there? Too many. Rude. Anyone, come in. Eh, I think this thing may be dead. Guess I'll have to settle for just talking to those idiots inside your head. The plank, I say. Well, that should get us there eventually. What say you, Trillian? Are you excited to see people again? No. What? Why? How long were you on that planet? What does that have to do with anything? Clearly, you've forgotten that people suck. Touche. Plus you got what, like 19 other people inside that noggin of yours? Ain't that enough? Right now I'm starting to think I could use one less voice to talk to. You mean me, don't you? What? I wouldn't want to talk to me either. No, I was talking about her, but good job on the self-esteem. So Trills, um... We've got some questions. Ask away, Skin Shark. Were you around when the Earth flooded? Yep. What the hell happened? I don't know. One day, no water. Next day, water! Ruined all my stuff and made my skin all pruney. What did you do before everything flooded? Well, my skin wasn't pruney. How about something not skin related? I was born on April 32nd after a particularly long labor in which my mother was forced to have- Whoa, no, 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 no. I meant like right before the flood. Did she say April 32nd? Oh, uh. I worked with robots. Oh, cool. That sounds interesting. Nah, robots suck too. Really? I figured they'd be nice. I mean, oh sure, they start all nice and helpful, but one whiff of power and those overgrown toasters try and kill you. Okay then. My best friend was a box! You've had an odd life, haven't you? Hmm, what do y'all think? Think she'll like it? Colorful weeds? They're flowers. That's a bit cliche. Oh, I'm sorry, the Earth is flooded. I'm a little limited on my gift options. You should get her a pet parrot. Stop being a stereotype. Nyar. Um, didn't she say not to fall in love with her? I'm not. I'm just being friendly. But what if she hates them? She might spear us. No, she won't. Ho hopefully. We'll be fine. She'll love it. Hey, Trills, we, uh, we, we got you something. Ooh, is it a pet parrot? Told ye. Damn it. Uh, no. Here. Colorful weeds? Told ya. Damn it. They're, uh, flowers, actually. That's a bit cliche. Told ya. Damn it. We just thought you might like them, that's all. I told you, Skin Shark. No falling in love with me. Told you. Damn it. We're not. What are you doing? Putting them where they belong. Just feel lucky you aren't getting speared right now. Told you. Damn it. Bad idea. It'll be fine. She'll go to bed tonight and be pleasantly surprised. Wow. You're crazier than we thought. Hey, space boy. Yeah? Can I speak to you for a moment? Sure. I thought I put these in the trash. Well, yeah, but we thought maybe that if we pulled them back out, you'd, uh... W what are you doing? I ain't that hard up. You're getting kebobbed. Ah, get away! Get, get, away, get away! Get away! Get away! Survivor's Log, Day 61. After searching the radio tower, we were given coordinates to an unknown location. At the location, Trillian and I discovered a large cruise ship. I saw it first! Okay... Trillian discovered a large cruise ship. Happy now? Yes, indeedy! I'm calling it the SS Pina Colada! <sighs> huh. 
We've decided to wait until morning to go investigate to see if there are any other survivors. I hope they have pie! Why would they have pie? Don't judge me! Man, swanky! And to think I could have been living on this thing instead of on a stupid island with Becky. No offense, Becky. If I didn't have to live with you, I wouldn't. Don't hurt my feelings, Becky! I'm just saying, you can be mean to me sometimes. Me? What about you? Always interjecting and undermining me. I'm just telling the truth. And I don't! I'll just let you two argue this out. No, Hello? your name isn't even true. Anyone here? How dare you! Hmm, don't think there's anyone here. Good, more pie for me! Ooh, -hoo -hoo, liquor! Don't get too excited. Looks like they already drank it all. Except for that one bottle I found. <laughs> that other bottle. But they magically disappeared in my tum-tum. Tasted like spicy fish juice. Well, this is gonna be a fun puke-filled night. Yar, lightweight can't hold her liquor. I can too hold it. How else would I pour it into my face whole thing? Eh, touche. Did you just let a drunk girl outwit you? Oh, I'm sorry, I must be rusty. I don't have anyone else intelligent to argue with. Valid point. Wait. Hey. <laughs> we got it. If you weren't wasted, you'd be impressed. It was super manly. You mean super sharky, Mr. Sharky Shark. You look weird with legs. Ah, holy sh**! Nope! No, 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 no! Nope! Huh? Ah! What am I seeing? How drunk am I? Not drunk enough for that sh**. No wonder there's no one here. Those things ate them all. Well, next time we're gonna eat them. Ooh, rat pie. <laughs> there it is. Well, that sobered me up. Blah. Welcome back to the party. It sucks. You should get drunk again. Wait, no. I think I'm still drunk. Wait. <laughs> now I'm sober. This is gonna be a fun trip. Holy crap, it's dark in here. We should have made some flashlights or something. Well, I ain't going back to the raft. Mostly because I don't know where I am, and I'll be damned if I can find the way back. Hooray, we're gonna die in here because we got lost in the dark. Hey, we found an exit! Guarded by a rodent of unusual size! Let me at him! Shut up, you idiot! Ah, it bit us! It bit us! Ooh, are you gonna turn into a weir rat now? Oh, no. Are we? No. But, no. Whatever you say, space boy skin shark weir rat, I'm watching you. And at the first sign of you growing big-ass buck teeth, or, you know, bigger ones than you already have, you get the spear. You're such a joy to have around, Trillian. I know, right? <laughs> Whoa, forget people. Can we just move in here? This is all I need. What? You want to stay here with the freaking demon rodents? I currently sleep on a pile of leaves. Here, I get to sleep on a nice soft bed in my deluxe apartment. If I have to slay a few overgrown mice to do so, then so be it. I don't want to stay here. You'd have no food or water. So I'd die a very plush death. Leave her. I agree. Yar. We can't do that. She'd die. Oh my god. Fine. If you're gonna bitch about it, I'll go with you. But we weren't. Stop begging. Yeesh. It's unbecoming. Needy, needy. The plank, I say. <sighs> hey, you almost killed me. You're fine. Hey, another bed. Don't get any ideas, shark rat boy, or I'll kebab you. I get to use a bomb. 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 Oh, joy, you're gonna kill us both. Probably. Fire in the hole! Uh, we should move. Oh, yeah. Aw, I was gonna ask you to tell me what an explosion looks like up close. Probably, Painty. Let's see what's up here, shall we? Better be pie! Why would there be pie? Never mind. Oh, it's the control room. I want to be captain of this here ship. It doesn't run. Yar. But it looks like we can make a wheel for our raft now, so you can be an even better captain of that. Yar. Ah, <sighs> back on the ratless ship. Thank God. I'll miss the stabbing. I like stabbing. We know. I want me steering wheel. Yes, 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 we'll get to that. Oh, there you are, Trills. Welcome back. Thanks. That nice posh ship with a nice soft fluffy bed wasn't for me anyway. I would have missed the splinters I get in my ass when I sleep. I mean, at least you don't have to worry about the rats. Yeah, now all I have to worry about is a man-eating shark. Good point. Why did I come back here again? You'd have missed us? Maybe just that pirate guy. The rest of you can go whistle. <laughs> Not literally! Well, I vote yes. I also vote yar. I vote no, we're gonna get a disease. 
Shut up. I vote yes. We must consume the meat of our enemies. Joining the cannibal camp, I see? Well, you should know I bite back! Also, I'm stringy. What? Oh, no, 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 no. We were thinking about cooking up some rat meat for dinner. Want some? Ew! Ew! Ew, 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 ew! What? Ew! It won't be that bad. Ew! It's not fish. I'll take my medium rare. One or two? Two, please! Hair or hairless? Surprise me. But I don't want hair. Becky! Survivor's Log, Day 70. We discovered a large island that appears to have radio towers on it. Trillian and we are going to investigate in hopes of finding this mythical utopia on the water. I'm just hoping to find booze. Unauthorized personnel to not enter during mating season. That's unhelpful. Trills, do you know what mating season is? I don't ever want to hear my name and the words mating season come out of your mouth in the same sentence ever again. We weren't talking about you. Well, good, cause it ain't happening. Regardless, we should probably avoid any bears we see just in case. We're not sure we can outrun bears. I don't have to outrun bears. I have to outrun you. Shouldn't be hard after I kneecap you. Is she serious? I don't know, but we probably shouldn't tempt fate. We should kneecap her first. Yar. Oh, there's a bear. Why aren't we running? I'm already running! Ah, she attracted it! Trills, help! Fine, but only because without me you'd be dead. Less talky, more shooty! Ah, we broke our spear! Ah, ow! Ah, we needed those organs, you stupid bear! And you told me, less talky? Not the time! Seems like as good a time as any! <sighs> Holy crap! Man, that was awesome! Just checking. Awesome. Awesome! We almost died! Next time, try to lose a limb or two. Pretty sure I might be bleeding out. That's not missing leg cool, but it's pretty cool. Ooh, I could get me a peg leg. I agree with the pirate. We already told you no. Aww. Aww. Well, somebody wanted to keep us out. What the hell did we find? And what the hell is that? I don't know. Looks radioactive. That's on you. Anyway, we need to get to that radio tower, so I'm going for it. Don't die! Thanks. But when you do, do it in a cool way! And how do you suggest we do that? Do a flip! Well, we stepped in it. We're probably gonna grow a new foot. You could let a bear chew it off! No! Oh, we're high up again. Oh, shut up. Huh, looks cozy. Hey, Trills! They had liquor up here! Is there any left? Uh, I don't think so. All right, we should be able to get a signal if we just turn this thing on. If only we knew which button did that. Just start smashing buttons. That seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, we could get electrocuted. <sighs> no, we're not. Never mind. I guess we just flip this. Don't electrocute us. There, see, we didn't die. Barely, pun intended. Shut up. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Don't fall. Damn it. Great. I can feel the tumors growing now! <sighs> can we excise him first? Trails! 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 Where the hell did she go? I hope a bear didn't get her. I do. Oh, shut up. She's probably just on the raft. Trails! Trails! Ah, no, come on! Ha! You are too freaking easy! The plank, I say! Ah, buck up, buttercup. You know, we've got other radio towers to electrocute ourselves with. We're just gonna go. No, you're not. You're gonna come to the raft and help me take this thing off. Shove my head in here and I can't get it out. Well, that was smart. Worth it! Was it? Quite down, Buzzkill. I'm not the one who got my head stuck inside a bear head. You make it sound like a bad thing! Why are we coming back? Because we need to turn on the other two radio towers. You just have a death wish, don't you? First it was Ratchet, now Bear Island. What's next, Snake Plane? Can we just hurry up and be careful? We'd like to keep our blood inside this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever you pick, baby. Ah, these tiny birds are pointy! What? Hey, get back here! I want your eggs, tiny birds! Uh, those are bees. I hope you're not allergic. I'm not! Am I? No. Woo! Good news, not allergic! Ooh, more tiny birds. What'd you call them again? Bees. All right, like spelling bees. Yeah, sure. Just distract them while we get the honey. Okay. Hey, bees! How do you spell disestablishmentarianism? What the hell are you doing? Distracting them with spelling! That's not how that works! Ow! Ow! Ah! 
<laughs> Apparently they are terrible spellers. Oh, that is a big bear. It, it looks like she's sitting in front of a cave. You get in the bushes over there. I'm gonna go distract her with food or something. By something you don't mean me, right? That's a spoiler. Hey! Boo-Boo! Come and get some berries! I'm running! Go, boy, go! Ah! Okay, go, 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 go! Don't eat me, don't eat me! Okay, mushrooms, a uh, blueprint, a toolbox. Well, this wasn't worth it. Oh man, the way is blocked. We should be able to cut through these vines with our new machete. It's a road sign. It's a machete. Road sign. Pirate sword. Vast me mateys and guard. <sighs> Whoever invented stairs can bite me. I don't want to get bit. It's an expression. Uh, never mind. Where's Trillian? I don't know. I think after the bear thing, she ran back to the raft. Hey, Trills! Stop talking at me! Yeah, she's back on the raft. Another one up and running. Now we just need to find the other ones so we can get out of here. Hopefully to that city. A warm bed, vitamin C to cure me scurvy, new clothes, a shower, no more rat meat. The Golden Girls on TV? You gotta let that one go, man. No! Oh, what the hell? How are we gonna get across this gap? The bridge is up! You all forget I'm an expert at this now. Got it! Uh-oh. Uh ah, what the hell? We almost died! Did I hear you die? If so, say nothing, and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. We're fine! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. No, we're not! Damn it, Becky! And that should do it. That's our coordinates, we guess. Just gotta remember to plug that in when we get back. We should go where the wind takes us. That is a quick way to end up dead. Nyar, where's your sense of adventure? Gone the moment we crash landed on a second planet covered in water! You know, I've always wanted to do this. Hello, this is Ark coming at you from Smooth 105. Trills, if you can hear this, know that there's a man out there after your heart. You mean literally, right? What the f 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 Trills, I assume everything is well. Shut up, Mr. Snarky McSnark Skin Shark Space Boy, we're rat and come take a look at this. Oh geez, can I? Uh, ah, what the f And I thought you four were crazy. Having multiple personalities doesn't seem so bad now, does it, Trills? 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 I'm running! Yeah, it's probably time for us to go too. Still running! Thanks for ditching us. No problem, I always got your back, you know, from a very far distance, running the opposite direction. I wish I could disagree, but I'm with her on this one. Becky! Oh, wait. Thanks, Becky! I got you, boo. Wow, thanks. The plank, I say! Just tell it like it is! Keeping it real! For Rizzle! Please stop. Pick a side, Becky! So where to, Capitan? The open sea. By that he means wherever these coordinates lead us. Why are you always trying to keep me down? Perhaps because you drive me crazy. I believe I'm here because you are crazy. Don't try to use logic with me, it won't work. Got that right. Becky. Becky. Becky! I don't like this weather! I hate getting wet! Did you never go outside before? I spent most of my time in a lab, thank you very much. Then you must hate Earth right now. I do! And you would have really hated the planet we were on before. Sure, of course, this other planet you were on. We were. Sure you were. We were on an alien planet covered in water filled with monsters. Yeah, huh? Oh, and we're sure you were stuck in a lab with two crazy robots in a box that was your best friend. How dare you? Ooh, an island. Let's stop. But that's not where we're going. I know, detour. I need some stuff. Like? Flowers. What? I tried to give you a flower and you threw it away. Well, this will be a useful flower. I'm gonna try and grow some of those tiny pointy birds. Oh, that'll go well. Probably not, but at least it'll be exciting. And painful. Probably. Survivor's Log, Day 77. We've reached what appears to be a gathering of buildings, and we're hoping it's not the so-called utopia we've been looking for because it did not look like this in the brochure. This looks like a place even I don't want to be. I agree, let's just stay on the raft. Yeah, now that place looks like it has cannibals. See, why are we going there? Uh, maybe they have directions to the actual utopia? Which they'll give us for a price of just a few bites of our thighs and other assorted similar organs. I'd like to see him try. 
My thighs are far too muscly. They're like rocks. Not from what I've tasted. Yes, we'd appreciate it if you wouldn't fight us while we're sleeping. Well, excuse me, princess. Wasn't aware you couldn't take a little nibbling without bitching about it constantly. We're missing a chunk of our thigh. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I returned it to you. Not in the form we wanted it. Yeesh, and picky too. All right, Trills, we gotta be quiet. Just in case, we don't want anyone to know we're here. Yay! Really? What? I prefer to see my death coming at me. Also, if you listen closely, you can hear the unfamiliar sound of silence. Perhaps you and it should become more acquainted. <sighs> Fine, let's just split up and see what we can find. Fine. You know... You could try some of that silence. Nah, I'm delightful. You know... I could see us getting a place here. Really? No. Delightful our ass. I found a thing I want. It's in a well. Come help me fill it up. What? How do you suggest we do that? Start drinking a lot of water. Ew. We've got a better idea. All right, here we go. Ugh. Is it getting there? Looks like it. Cool. Ow! What the hell? Damn devil birds. Oh, tiny pointy ones? No, big rock throwy ones. I don't like them as much. Oops, the wire was missing. It's okay though, I fixed it now. Try again. Okay. Da -da -da! Ah, damn birds. Oh, hey, Trills, we found more bees. What? Bees? What are bees? Tiny pointy birds. That's more like it. The blank I say. Hey, Trills. What? Look how high up we are this time. Cool. Do a flip. <sighs> what? I just really want to see a flip. You just want to see us crack our skull. That'd just be a bonus. Well, this is certainly precarious. What does that mean? It means these trailers could fall at any moment. Why are we up here? We need the supplies. We're gonna fall and die. Do a flip! What the hell's up with this bike thingy? Don't know, but it goes underwater. We'll go find out. <laughs> <gasps> Trills! There's a fish after me! Help! Oh, it's Flounder gonna kick your ass! It's a song! Wrong movie! What movie? Quit getting your ass kicked by a fish! <gasps> oh, I cannot hold my breath that long. Hey, Trills, you'll never believe it. We went really far down in the water. I'm to sleep. And we used little pockets of air to take breaths until we reached the bottom. Shut up. We also killed a ton of those little fish, so in your face. Why are you still talking? What have you been doing while we've been working our ass off? Anything? Definitely not sleeping! Where's that stupid bird? We're gonna kill him and eat him. There you are. Steady. Steady. Now, oh, crap. Probably should have waited until it was over a place we could easily get at it. You think? Hey, Trills! What? We killed the bird and it fell down somewhere. Can you go find it? Sure! Because I'm not doing anything! Thanks! That was sarcasm, Buttercup! Do it yourselves! Whoa, hello there. Eat him. Eh, pass. I want to launch this rocket. We're going to blow ourselves up. Probably. Whoa, look at her go. Go, little thing, go! Glad I waited to do that until after it launched. Hey, is there something parachuting down? Let's go get it. Here it is, a part and major Tom. I love him already. Hey, Trills. Oh, you're back. I heard an explosion. Figured you died. I was actually about to cast off. Nope, we're intact, except for that chunk of thigh. Bitch, bitch, bitch. What are you doing? Oh, building an area for our tiny pointy birds. Goody, we kind of hoped you'd given up on that. Nope. Okay, cool. We're going to die from bee stings. Tom, you're going to sleep here with Trills. Say what? Why am I sleeping with a guy named Tom? It's just a doll we found. Well, tell him he can look, but no, Judgy! It's a doll. No, Judgy! Okay. This should do it. Hey, Trills! We made a zipline thingy! It should make getting around a lot more fun! Yay! 
doing something else at the moment. What? It's a surprise. Oh, okay. How did she know it was our birthday? I don't know, but she clearly cares about us. Clearly. Nyar, I don't think so. Whee! Okay, that was fun. Anyway, what do you know? She loves me and we're gonna get married. No, we're not! Told ya. Hey, are those pigs? Ooh, bacon. Ah, the bacon is attacking! The bacon is attacking! Ah, retreat! Retreat! Let's go see what's in the mayor's house. If anyone's gonna know where that city is, it's him. Whee! <laughs> that is never gonna get old. Hello, Mr. Mayor! Nope, didn't think so. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, a new hat. Spiffy. I'm the mayor now, what I say goes. I declare today Arthur Dent Day. <laughs> this is fun. I agree. Uh-oh. And this is our raft. Well, I say, what dreadful accommodations. I do hope our permanent residence once we reach Utopia is more appropriate to my station. The hell? Oh, uh, we found a new hat and, uh, things are happening. He took me captain's hat off! I want it back! Look here, you do not get to speak to me that way. I'm in charge. No, you're not! I'm the captain! And I'm the mayor. Mayor is above captain. Oh, good. He sprouted another one. Well, perhaps we should hold a vote. I agree. Do I get a say? Sure. I don't care. Helpful contribution. You're welcome! All in favor of myself. I, 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 I. And all in favor of the drooling sea dweller being in charge, say I. 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 Didn't she already vote? Oh, that's Becky, her other per thing, person. It, it, it's in her head. It, sure. Congrats, Mayor, you're in charge. Of course I am. Now where is your kitchen and your chef? I'd like to request my dinner. <laughs> oh boy, you're in for a surprise. Want some rat meat? Well, I never. Hey, here's your surprise. The uh, chicken? Yeah, I named him after you. Mostly because he reminded me of you. You know, long neck, kind of stringy, tastes like chicken. Sounds like us. Does not. Well, thank you, Trills. That was very thoughtful. And Arthur sucks. Really, that's his name? It's funny because it's true. The plank, I say. Now, now, that's not the civilized way to handle these types of transgressions. Ideally, we would speak to a lawyer and find out what the proper method of recourse would be. The plank! Uh, both of you shut up. I have a better idea. Do your worst, chicken man. Come here. Come here. Stop running, you stupid goat. Hey, Trills, we got you something. Aww. We named him after you. Trills smells. I love it. Huh? It's funny because it's true. Plus, I am very goat-like. Also, I'm going to eat him. This seems to have backfired. The blank? Sure. The blank! All right, Trills, we're off to Utopia. We hope. I do as well. Your bed is nothing but leaves and twigs. Amen, sister. I do hope that this Utopia will be a bit more upscale than what you simple people have provided. I'm throwing this hat into the ocean. Please, yes. Wait, wait. Per the new raft bylaws, we need to put that to a vote. And as mayor, I have power to veto any such vote. Thus, you cannot. Damn it, we should have written some kind of articles of impeachment into that raft charter. Becky! I thought you said you knew how to write this stuff! No, I didn't. You just told me to write down some stupid rules, and I did. Don't blame me for putting a loony in charge. I voted for the pirate. And I appreciate that. Much obliged. Becky! No secret alliance is behind my back! I'm not even going to begin to go into how little sense that makes. Survivor's Log, Day 81. We're still on the road to this supposed utopia, but we've seen no sign of it. There's been a bit of a power struggle in the raft, but everyone's doing their best to adapt. No, we're not! I don't like having to speak in oldie English! Well, you should. It's much more becoming. I'll go forsooth yourself! Hopefully, once we reach the city, everyone will relax a bit. If we ever get there. We're starting to think it doesn't ex... Hey, Trills? Wah! Holy, Holy shit! Alright, we found the garage. I don't think we're gonna be able to park this baby in there, though. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. Look how nice it is in there. Finally, a proper city. Hopefully with working plumbing and a spa. 
And a good psychologist for whatever the hell is going on with you. You mean psychologist? No. Hey, did you all notice that there's no traffic? It's the ocean, Becky. This is why I don't let you drive. Eh, she might be right. Seems pretty quiet. You think there'd be people around or some kind of movement? We should prepare for battle. Yar! Oh, how uncivilized. You realize we live on an overglorified piece of driftwood, right? We poop in the sea. Ugh, don't remind me. I don't think we should go into this city. Something seems off. I agree. Well, I think we should put it to a vote, and as the mayor, I hold majority shares of the voting pool. Hence... That's it! Give me that damn hat! That's not how this works. Do it, or I make you a pincushion for my arrows. Who says we put that to a vote? That's it! I need a band-aid. I do love this hat. I feel so fancy. Pish posh, the gold standard, stocks and bonds and such. And that's how you do a mutiny. Why do I feel like this won't end any better? It won't. Rebecca! Survivor's log day. We don't remember anymore. We finally found Utopia, but it appears to be deserted, at least from the outside. We're sneaking in through the loading bay in hopes of avoiding any problems. Which is hard when you're yapping! Trillian is also taking command of the ship by rules of the hat. Stupid hat. No disrespecting the hat! Now I think we should go... Uh... We're going to the cafeteria! We're getting some real food! Yar. Agree. And as wearer of the hat, my opinion is the only one that matters. Although that was true before the hat. Ah! Super rat! Super rat! Your part we're rat? Make friends with it! We are not a were rat! That overbite massive amount of body hair begs to differ. Could she be right? Shut up, please. Yes, yes, yes. No! Where's all the food? Nyar. Oh, no tea and crumpets. What is wrong with me? We've been asking the same thing for like the past month. Shut up, snarky skin shark space boy. We're rat. We just wanted food. You could eat the plants or the books. The Tale of Two Cities is very meaty. I prefer Asimov. What the hell is this? Ooh, it's a puzzle. Nyar, I'm going to figure it out myself. That's a bad idea. No, it's not. Shut up. But I like puzzles. Trust me. I'm a good puzzle solver. It's like all I used to do. Really? Yes, she actually is good at puzzles. Damn straight. Listen to Becky. Well, maybe we should let her. Nyar, I'm doing it. <sighs> Fine. What's the worst that can happen? We're going to starve to death. I think I've got it. Yeah, but your brain also thinks you're a pirate, so excuse me if I tend to fear whenever you say the word think. She's not wrong. Doesn't mean she has to be rude about it. Yes, it does! Ah, oh, the surface! Oh, finally. You want us to go first? I don't need you to go first. I got it. Okay, fine. Yeesh. I shall let you go first! Ah, what the hell, Drills? Never fault! Never fault! Never fault! Then whose fault is it? Oh, sure! Blue! Just because I've tried to drown you a few times! A few? You're really yippy for someone who should be running! Ah! <sighs> Trells! Ten books, she's already dead. I'm not taking that. We're going back for her. Damn it, she's not here either. Ten dollars still on the table. No, I'm not betting on her death. That's awful. Pfft, fine. Oh, hey, we can get up here now. Huh. <sighs> Do we leave her behind? Told you, she's already dead. Maybe she already made it out. No, no, we gotta wait for her. Oh, hey, there she is. <gasps> oh, hey, you're alive. I owe you 10 bucks, Becky. I should have taken that bet. Holy crap. This time you go first. I think the girl who almost drowned us should go first. The hat says you go first. That stupid hat. Have fun. <sighs> okay, we're safe up here. And... you coming? I'm gonna wait to see if you die first. Hey, Becky, double or nothing. I'm only gonna take more of your money. Hmm. Hey, Arthur! What? Do a flip! Yeah, you have fun when it's your turn. I'm not giving you any tips. Damn it. Trails, I made it! Congrats on the 20 bucks, Becky! Trails, have fun! Oh, shut it! I'll be fine! Look, a robot! 
Uh, I don't think it's a good robot. Sure it is. Hi, robot. Oh, this robot is pointy too. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Well, this place sucks. Why don't robots and I ever get along? Pretty sure that goes for people too. You were right, Becky. This place is deserted. I got a bad feeling about this. It'll be fine. We survived worse. Hey, I found a door we can go in. So, uh, you ever think about maybe settling down at some point and starting a family? Uh, oh, thank God. Arthur, door's open. Go check things out. I'll stay here. All right. Close the elevator doors. Close. Jeez, these apartments are nice. Why would anyone ever leave? I know I wouldn't. Not a clue. This place is posh. Oh! Trills, you okay? Really? When you gotta go, you gotta go. Plus, have you sat on that thing? It shoots water up your nethers. Oh, that sounds neat. Although you can't use that one. It caught me off guard. I'm pretty sure I broke it. So what is your real name? Jolian, Becky, Rebecca, Trills, Philippe. What do you mean? We know that's not your real name. We'll get it out of you one of these days. No, you won't. Oh, really? Why not? There's like three-fourths of you I don't trust. Would you tell me? Only if the rest of you would psychologically skedaddle. Jeez, you know, we could really just stay here. There's lots of room. Hell, you could have a whole building to yourself, Trills. I call this one. What? Hey, that's no fair. You can't just call one. Dibs! Dang, she called dibs. Why exactly do you want this one? I want this tub. Now get out. I'm going to have a soak. All right. Mmm, tasty. What? Hey, can't a girl eat in the tub in peace? You're a weird girl. Hey, let's check this out. Uh oh this is so unsafe. It's fine. We've done worse. Potentially falling from 13 stories is pretty bad. Yeah, that is pretty high up on our list of dumb things we've done. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go see what's on the roof. <sighs> hey, Trails! We're going to the roof! Do a flip! Damn, even in Utopia there are cubicle jobs. No wonder this place failed. Trails! Trails, where are you? Who's yelling? It's Arthur! Who else would it be? Arthur who? <sighs> We're going downstairs to try and fix the electricity for the big elevator. You coming? I don't know any Arthurs. Who is this? No one. You're insane. Stop yelling at yourself. Oh, shut up, Arthur. I knew it. The blank, I say. So dumb. So very, very dumb. We're not an electrician. We're a janitor. Then we should know how to jury rig this. We've got duct tape. What else do we need? I'd agree. Well, that would help. Ow. And there. Hey, we did it. Good job. I'm so proud you didn't electrocute yourself. I owe you 40 bucks, Becky. You've got to stop going double or nothing. Yeah, yeah. What was this about being a janitor? Oh, uh, we used to be a janitor. I thought you were some kind of half shark, half astronaut thing. Well, yeah, a, a, a space janitor. Put any adjective you want in front of it. Don't make it any cooler. Ooh, a piano. Hey, Trails, you want us to play something? Trails? Trails? Play Freebird! Ah! Stop doing that! Play Freebird. We don't know, Freebird. Then what use do I have for you? We had like one lesson when we were eight. Shut up. Hey, there's a line over that big silo thing. Maybe there's people up there. Let's go for it! You sure this is a good idea? Don't question my brilliance, Becky. I mutually regret this! We're right behind you! Whee! Ugh. That wasn't so bad. Let's do it again. No, we're going up here. Yeah, fine. We're going up here. Buzzkill. No, look at my shorts. Hmm, looks like we need a code. Do you know it, Trills? Why would I know it? I don't know, I'm just asking. Let's look at our notes. There's probably something in there. Good call, Becky. I thought of it first. Becky just said it. No, you, Becky. So, the code is goggles, burger, scissors, donut. That's a life preserver. Oh, I wanted a donut. That code doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. What kind of crazy person are you? Not a very good one, clearly. Never mind. That doesn't make sense. I found a burger! Food? On a sign. Oh. It's the number on the buildings for these symbols. She's right. Good work. Becky, you're so smart. I knew I kept you around for a reason. More like I kept you around. Whoa. Jeez, someone's getting sassy. You better keep her in line. Who you talking to, me or her? Uh, yes. This could be our last elevator ride together. Good. Is there anything you want to say to us? I've barely tolerated you. Okay, then. 
All right, the code is 4813. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Ah, ocean quake! What did we do? Wait, I didn't do anything! This is all on you! Oh, shit. Okay, you have got to split the blame with us on this one. We cannot be responsible for blowing up Utopia. Nope, I didn't enter that code. You're on your own, skin shark. Oh, jeez. Let's go see the damage. You are in so much trouble. I mean, they abandoned it. How much could they really care? My best estimate, several million much. We're gonna need to sell some stuff. I'll buy that old shoe for five dollars. Sold! Oh, please don't be anyone in here. Hello? Anyone in there? Particularly anyone who might want to sue us? Hello? Ah, I don't think there's anyone in here. You coming? Nag, nag, nag. Uh, huh. It appears to be abandoned, too. Trills, what the hell happened? Who knows? Who cares? Let's loot and run before someone comes and kills us with crippling debt. Valid point. Let's go. <sighs> this was supposed to be it, Trills. Utopia. We were going to find other people and be saved. What are we going to do now? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ever wanted to live on an island? Yeah. I could do to get off the water some. Yeah, an island sounds good. Set sail, me new first mate. I'm back in charge. Aye, aye, Captain. Now, bring me that horizon. The hell does that mean? Just sail the damn raft. <laughs>